true biblical femininity isn't toxic at all, but these are three types of women that you should avoid. I'm not joking. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. I don't judge people's actions. I look at the intention behind it. So like, why do you ask for that? Because I only want to date a wealthy guy that has money. Valid, so you're getting straight to the point. I think, you know, I have a job. I'm very successful. So I think I have every right to be like, hi, are we on the same level or where am I wasting my time? I hope I don't need to say this, fellas, but if a girl asked you your bank account info on a first date, that is a sign to hit the ground running. The nice thing about this is she's showing you what she values most. What she values in a person is how much in your bank account. You don't want somebody that values you based on the money in your bank account, as if that's one of the most important things that they need to know. Somebody that's obsessed with material items or worldly success or how much you know popularity you have avoid this type of woman because she's not interested in helping you and assisting you in your mission that's part of the role of a wife is to come alongside of a man to bolster the mission so that they can glorify God even more in this mission what I've seen about this type of woman is that they will encourage you to live beyond your means to go above and beyond what you make to live beyond what you can afford because that's what everybody else is doing or they'll push you to go to the expensive restaurants even though you can't afford it or the expensive date nights, even though you, you don't have the money for it. They want, they want immediate success and they're not going to be there for your long-term growth. Fellas, I'm telling you, you don't want a woman that's obsessed with stuff or encourages you and guilts you into living beyond your means. The truth is, regardless of where you are, whether you're at the very top financially or if you're at the bottom, the question is, what's the vision? What are you building towards? Proverbs 13, 11 says, wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. The second type of woman that you need to avoid is the seductress. I need you fellas to tap into this because it is so important. Proverbs 7 talks about this seductress who is seducing this married man, but it applies to non-married men too. It talks about this woman with much seductive speech. She, she persuades him and with her smooth talk, she compels him. All at once he follows her as an ox goes to the slaughter or a stag is caught fast. He does not know it will cost him his life. Every guy likes attention, especially especially female attention. And so if there's somebody in your life that's giving you a lot of attention and maybe it's even sexual attention or they're making sexual advances, this might feel new to you. This might feel really exciting and, and great because, wow, this person's really showing interest in me. But I need you guys to know that it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just because somebody's showing you this interest or giving you this access even to themselves, this seductress is somebody you need to avoid. It's a trap set by the evil one to get you off your mission of serving God and glorifying him in your life. The seductress is also a flipping of God's design. In that initial phase, you are you should be leading as a man. You should be guiding as a man. It shouldn't be the woman taking the lead, but that's what's going on. The woman is making the advances. The woman is pushing you forward. The woman is directing you and you're following her. That is a recipe for disaster. Now, not only do we need to avoid the seductress in real life, we need to avoid her online. And with the prevalence of corn and other sexually suggestive content, we need some accountability. I wanna encourage you guys to sign up for Covenant Eyes. The link is in my description. Sign up for a 30-day free trial, and this will help you be accountable with your usage online. Guys, we shouldn't be doing this alone, especially in this age when there is help. It has helped so many men and women break free from corn addiction. And so if that's you or you're just tempted by it, I'd encourage you to sign up. The third type of woman you need to avoid is the vain woman. In our social media age, there are so many vain women. You can just scroll TikTok, you can scroll Instagram, and you see a plethora of them. It's one thing to want to look nice or be interested in fashion and, and that sort of thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But a woman that's completely obsessed with her looks is a woman that's not focused on God or the things of God or how to serve God or potentially serve her husband either. It's how to focus on how she can make herself look better to the world. Proverbs 31.30 says, Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So you see this 
this dichotomy here, this, this kind of two different sides of the coin. You have a woman that fears the Lord and you have a woman that's obsessed with her looks and obsessed with trying to become beautiful or appearing beautiful to the world. Now, while girls on social media will try to do lip filler and crazy makeup and all sorts of things in order to make themselves appear really beautiful online, the true beauty comes in fearing the Lord. And you as a man need to be looking out for that type of woman. That should be the ultimate attractiveness that you need. Yes, there's the physical aspects of attraction that is important, but somebody that fears the Lord, dang, that's the best. That is the best. Because a vain spirit is a spirit of rot. It is con continually concerned with how can I look good or how, what do I look like or how can people perceive me to be more beautiful? How can I look more attractive? And it's this ongoing cycle of just kind of intense insanity and, and it'll drive you crazy if you're if you're in this mindset of just how can I look better as opposed to you're looking at other people and how can I serve them? How can I glorify God? It's a spirit that that really just kind of refuels you, right? It fills you up with love and delight and joy. But this kind of internal cycle of how can I look better? How do people perceive me? It's a cycle of destruction and rot. I hope you fellas got something from this video and were encouraged by it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'd encourage you to subscribe if you're interested in watching more of this content and share it with another guy friend of yours that you think might benefit from this video. Until next time, keep pursuing the mission.